Getting a great guitar sound using virtual amps can sometimes be difficult. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you some tips for improving your guitar sound when using virtual amps. For the rhythm guitars, I send them all to the same bus and use the Pi compressor on the bus itself. It gives them more of a cohesive feel and smooths out the rough edges. For this song, I just added a touch of compression on the guitars. As you can see, the needle is just barely moving. And it only starts really compressing when all four guitars come in at the same time. Depending on the sound you want or what other instruments are in the mix, you may want to compress it a bit more. But since it's just guitar, bass, and drums, I want the guitar to be a little bit more open sounding. These are the settings that I use, but they will vary greatly depending on your tracks. You can just start with these settings and then adjust accordingly for your track. You can also use tape here as well to fatten up and smooth out the sound. There's no right or wrong. Experiment and find the sound you want. user's guide will tell you what each individual knob does, so I won't dive into that too much here, outside of demonstrating some of the great and unique sounds you can get by using tape. On each individual guitar channel, I use the HLS for a bit of EQ and sometimes just a bit more punch using the mic pre, mostly in the low mid frequencies with the EQ. Since this was recorded through a virtual amp, I will often go back and set the EQ on the virtual amp itself as close as I can to get the guitar sound to work in the final mix. The HLS just gives it a bit more punch and can give you a bit more control of a certain frequency that may not be available or the character of the virtual amp that you are using. For the lead guitar, I used all three plugins directly on the channel, plus the Abbey Road plate on an aux track. Here I compress quite a bit more with the Pi compressor than I did with the rhythm guitars. Also experiment with decay for the lead guitar, as it can make the guitar sing and sustain a bit. With the HLS, it was kind of the same as the rhythm guitar in that I tried to do most of the tone shaping with the virtual amp itself, and then added the HLS for punch and flavor. When I use tape on rhythm guitars, it is to fatten the sound. For lead guitar, I also use it to fatten the sound, but it also makes a great delay effect as well. There is a great tape delay guitar preset, but you can also create your own sound by adjusting the delay time and feedback. I 
I also used the flux control to add a bit more distortion to the sound, which gave it a little smoother sound as well. As always, download the demos of these plugins and see how great they can make your virtual guitar amp recording sound.